I'm Isambard Montague the Third. So, at this after party conference party thing, the wait came along and I said, I'm in a bit of a hurry, so I'd like to combine my main course with my pudding, if you don't mind. What would you suggest? He looked quickly at the menu and said, how about jellyfish with custard? Whoa, I said, no, I couldn't have that. Can't stand custard. <laughs> so anyway, as happens at these parties, conversation got on to business and there were plenty of people saying the British industry now is doing so badly and I said no 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 look at our very biggest export industry the arms trade we're doing very nicely thank you look at American weapons really fantastic kill thousands at the press of a button but they're too expensive and most countries can't afford them then you look at the Russian and Chinese weapons. Yes, they're rugged and reliable, but you couldn't hit a barn door with them. Fine if the lives of the children holding the guns are worth less to you than the guns themselves. They'll probably last longer, but not really what you want. So, we tread the middle road. Our weapons are nice and accurate and very desirable, just like the British car industry. And just like the British car industry, they're totally bloody unreliable. So we make a fortune in servicing and repairs as well. Perfect. Obviously there are those who say, but what about the civilians? Some people take the attitude that, well, they're just there for target practice. Before the proper fight starts, but I don't support this view, no. In my view, if the civilians are finding it a little bit unpleasant in the war zone, they should do what I do when I don't like things. Get into their Bentley and go to another five-star hotel. Speaking of which, jellyfish and custard? Where's my bloody chauffeur?